Good morning again at 6.55. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. Most parts of Monroe County are now facing new restrictions after a spike in COVID cases. Monroe County reporting more than 700 new cases in the last four days, 148 in the last 24 hours. On top of that, the number of people hospitalized has doubled in just two weeks. The region is now considered a yellow zone by the state. A possible breakthrough in the development of a coronavirus vaccine. The drug maker Pfizer says its vaccine is 90% effective and could be ready for emergency use approval by the FDA in a matter of weeks. However, if approved, most Americans would not have access to the vaccine until at least next spring. Lawmakers making their way back to Washington this week. And the top priority is a coronavirus relief deal. Negotiations have stalled for months now with nearly 100,000 new cases and more than 1,000 deaths reported each day. Senators hope to reach a deal soon. The future of the Affordable Care Act is in the hands of the Supreme Court. Today, the nine justices will hear oral arguments in California v. Texas, a case to repeal the ACA. Republicans argue the legislation is unconstitutional and needs to be changed. Democrats say removing the program during the pandemic would be a disaster. Once oral arguments are concluded, a decision from the justices is not expected until next June. With no specific date announced for the rollout of cashless tolling in New York, the state's thruway authority says it will happen this month. 70 overhead cameras have been installed across the state. State officials say cashless tolls will reduce congestion along the roads. They're urging anyone who doesn't yet have an easy pass to get one soon to save both time and money. The city of Rochester expanding a program that helps restaurants offer heated outdoor options during the winter months. City officials say that program will expedite the application process and waive permit fees as well to install the structures on city sidewalks and streets. For more information, head to rochesterfirst.com. We don't need those today, Josh. Another record breaker is uh, on deck. Indeed it is. Uh, we had a record-breaking 77-degree high temperature on Monday, and in Rochester today, I'm projecting a high of 78. That would shatter the old record for this date, set back in 1975, of 72 degrees. And by the way, if we do make 78, we'll also be 3 degrees shy of the all-time high temperature recorded in the month of November. A little bit of a lake breeze will again blow this afternoon along the water's edge of Lake Ontario. Uh, but again, just history in the making as far as that warmth is concerned here for the day today. There's that mainly clear sky that uh, you'll enjoy here for pretty much the better part of this Tuesday. That the view there from the Charlotte Genesee uh, Lighthouse over the Genesee and Lake Ontario. Satellite radar show again, just hard pressed to even find a cloud at this point. Back to the west, there is a cold front that promises to get here tomorrow and uh, it promises to also bring some badly needed uh, rainfall. But that rain will hold off here for the day today and uh, we are in uh, great shape as you can see there in your planner. Again, nothing shy of history in the making weather wise for Western New York and the Finger Lakes on this Tuesday. How about that, Josh? A day to remember. Thank you. That's it for us for now here on News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.